Confetti Club. It is Pixie. Um, we are here in a cozy little dual-sided uh, corner of the living room today for kind of a mental health video. Very much a mental health video. This video is actually very inspired by another YouTube video uh, that was uploaded by Multiplicity and Me. And the concept of their video is essentially, it was what's in my grounding box. And that video was really, really helpful and inspired me to create my own grounding box or like panic kit or like anxiety attack bag. So it's kind of also like a what's in my bag video, which we love, very 2016 YouTube. Um, and I do genuinely use this. I have been using this ever since I saw the video the first time and it's been a while. Like this has been on my mind to film for months and months and months. So definitely I wanna give all the credit and love and shouts out to Multiplicity and me for uploading that original video that inspired me to make my own little like safety uh what did i think i thought of a funny little way to put it mental health first aid kit so yeah uh without further ado i have a little bit of notes i have my wonderful bag here that i keep all of my items in you guys can also definitely feel free to be inspired from this video like I was from Multiplicity and Bees and make your own little like grounding box or kit. It's really useful to have and it has become like, like a very cozy safety net. If you deal with uh, anxiety attacks, just anxiety in general, dissociation, age regression, trauma flashbacks, or anything where you may need like immediate kind of out of nowhere, ah, ah, I need help now, what do I do? You can go to your little kit. I actually received this little tote. This is a Big Bud Press mini tote with this amazing flower power groovy pattern on it. My mama got me this for Christmas. What a sweetie pie. I have things here that go down all of the senses. So touch, sight, smell, taste, and hearing, listening, sound. <laughs> Ears are three, apparently. Three senses of the ear. So let's address, let's address this, friend. Hello. I love Beanie Babies. I love TY. This has become more of a recent um, kind of nostalgic obsession collection thing of mine. I did purchase this beautiful friend for myself for my birthday. Did you know that Beanie Babies are actually not thousands of dollars? Like the media might lead you to believe and that you can actually go on eBay and like type in whatever Beanie Baby you want. And like, this was like, $30. This was gifted to me from a Confetti Club member. You know who you are. And the reason why the Beanie Baby, <laughs> the reason why they are relevant to my mental health and grounding purposes is that I like the way their beans sound. I like the way their beans feel. It's just pleasant. It's sensory. It's like, it's like a little stress ball or like a hacky sack. But a, but a little bear friend. So there's the little ones that are like more full of sand and they're fun. But if I'm at home and I'm on the couch and no one's gonna judge me, their little feets, their little beanie feets do make an excellent little rattle that I enjoy. We're getting personal today. <laughs> and he lives in here because doesn't he just go with the pattern so nicely? Ooh. Okay, what else is in here? In that front pocket, I also have, this is just a tag that the seller on eBay sent me with him, I just like it. Before we move on to the next thing in my bag, I do want to take a second to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, which again is Function of Beauty. You guys already know I've been using Function of Beauty for a while now, I wanna say almost a year, maybe not quite. My hair, I'm not kidding, I've talked about this in other videos, is the healthiest it's been in a long, long time, and I definitely credit all of that to Function of Beauty. All my life, I have been wondering how do I get the perfect hair products that aren't like a million dollar salon prices and also work for my color retention and the way that my hair is like curly and just does not want to do anything that I tell it to. And with Function of Beauty's super easy two minute hair quiz, it really personalizes your product to be exactly exactly what you need. You tell them your hair profile, your scalp, whether you're oily, normal, whether your hair is super thick, on the finer side, wavy, curly, coily, straight, and your hair goals, which is the most exciting part. So I'm like, please, please help me. And honestly, 
I really have not been getting split ends. This is a true report, a true report from my soul. You also get to customize the bottles, which by the way, are 100% post-consumer recycled plastic, which is super, super important to me. Uh, the sustainability efforts at Function of Beauty are one of the main reasons why I love to partner with them. In this video, you guys have definitely learned that I'm a big scent-oriented gal. I love my fruity scents, anything super strong and fruity and in your face. I just want to be a fruity tooty girl. Um, so I definitely think their pear apple scent has been my favorite so far. So you should sneak down to my description box where you can click my link and get 20% off your first set of Function of Beauty. Let us continue on. Ooh, okay, this is great. This one is for smell. Um, it doesn't have much of a taste, but this is a ColourPop roller gloss like lip product, but I actually keep it mostly because it's a really grounding scent for me. I really love citrusy orange scents. It reminds me of my like strawberry shortcake orange blossom doll when I was a child. And I've just always loved orangey citrus things. And it's very convenient. It's a sweet little tube and it's just a little tube of like orangey oil. And this does screw off so whenever uh, it is depleted and out of orangey goodness, I can refill it with like I don't know, more natural orange oil. I just really, really like the tube. I think it's super duper cute and convenient and I use this a lot actually. This is one of my main go-tos when I'm like starting to like float into the abyss. I'll be like, orange time. This is fun because I don't 100% remember everything that I keep in here. <gasps> okay, these are fun. These are friends. These are just iconic. This is like any good rubbery silicone stimmy item um one of my amazing best friends emily gifted me this one day at like at school just out of nowhere this amazing little bear friend he's iconic he's wonderful he's great to stim with rub, 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 rub. okay maybe don't do that but like <laughs> i believe they got this from our like there's a chain of dollar stores in canada called dollarama if you're canadian you know what i'm talking about i believe these are from there It also makes a very epic sound because there's a little ball inside that goes rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. That actually sounds so crazy. It sounds like you're in the ocean. Iconic! Iconic! Oh! And it brought sight! The sense of sight! It's bright! Okay. I love it. We love it. We love to see the bear. This is a very sweet little sensory toy. This, what is it called? It had a really funny box. Nido Cool Cats? I'll see if I can find the image. This was in my Christmas stocking because my parents rock. So he's sweet. He's a little kitty cat and you can squish him, squish him real good. He has like flower in him or something, like something very odd. Sorry, this feels rude. I have, I have several uh, genres of squishy thing. All presents, people love me and I use them all so much. These are Tangle Toys. I fucking love these. love these. These also Christmas present in the stocking amazing there's also a neon yellow one but i keep that one at school because i love these so much and i need them always there's so many different things you can do with them you can threaten your friends like this you can do this if you're feeling like i get like not let's not get specific but i will have episodes where i'm like and like and like physically my arms are like ah so like it helps to be able to take this and go as tight as humanly possible and just like feel all the power of god's rage in your fist anyway so i very much enjoy those the last thing in here is several things but they are all one and that is some chapsticks I particularly am quite partial to lip smackers. I love lip smackers. You may notice a pattern here. I love nostalgic things for the aesthetic and also because they are quite grounding in remembering my identity, my own memories, recall, stuff like that, bringing you into the present. These particular lip smackers do indeed look like Crayola crayons. I know, I can't cope at all. I'm going to repurpose these all into earrings as well. I know you guys have seen me do the Crayola crayon earring 
things. But other than that, uh, the different scents are nice and grounding. You can be like, okay, apple, okay, orange, okay, nice. And then also your lips aren't chapped. I have a tin here of some putty. It's nothing really special. Uh, this actually, I think my mama got for Stevie back when they were in the hospital. And then when they came home, they were like, I really don't have a use for this. So I do like to use this sometimes as well when I'm particularly like stimmy or feeling all weird and waxy. So yeah, this is just a little tin of putty. You can stretch it. Um, this particularly is Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty in a Wizard's Wand. Oh, it's made in the USA. That's nice. And it comes in a tin, which is nice. Um, this, again, was passed down to me from Stevie slash my mom, so very handy. You can tell that people in my life are like, God, what can we, what can we give her that will calm her down? Something, please help. This is a very fun and kind of unique thing. This was another gift. Um, this is from Stevie for my birthday, and it is actually a game called Kitten. Is it Kittens? Called Kitten with a T-I-N. And it is a game that comes in a little metal tin of these little wooden rainbow cat blocks and these little precious cards that have different arrangements of kitty cat puzzlery for you to arrange. And maybe I'll insert a little clip here of Stevie and I playing some rounds of kittens, but um, it is so fun, very grounding because it's tactile, it's wood, it's colorful and bright, and I love that. It's interactive, it's something Stevie and I will do together. It's also just a fun game that we play when I'm not having a mental health crisis, when we're just simply vibing. It is so <laughs> cute and perfect for me. Little rainbow wooden cats. I'm screaming. Um, I love this game so much. Kitten. And the last thing in the bag is makeup remover. I really am not a fan of makeup remover wipes because they are horrendous for the environment and there is no need for them. I personally use micellar water. Is that how you say it? Micellar? I feel like I'm gonna get clocked. I use that makeup -y remover water in a big jug and a cloth that I then like wash with all my other laundry. However, this is something that we owned anyway, so I keep it in here nice and sealed up uh, for whenever you have like a big kind of like cry fest. Sometimes it's nice to have something easy on the go and it's also can be nice and grounding to wash your face with a cloth like that. Um, the cloth that I use, I use like a little square each day. So you can't, it's not a rubbing the whole face moment. It's a like, I get that much wet each day and then I go bloop, 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 bloop. Anyway, so I do keep these in here. I believe these were also from uh, my mama to Stevie that got passed back down to me. They're also orange scented, which is my favorite. Actually, I don't, yeah, is this even makeup remover? No, this is just a cleansing wipe. But again, if you've had a big cry, like I wear a lot of makeup and I have a lot of feelings. So sometimes it's nice to have a wipe. The last thing I think you should absolutely keep in your grounding kit or your panic box or your mental health satchel is a little piece of paper with uh, friends numbers, maybe your therapist number, uh, important information you might need, a local crisis line. Um, also, if you and your friends may happen to have like a code word or something, <laughs> not that me and my friends have code words for our different mental breakdowns. We have a fabulous system. You can also put like little written reminders and rituals uh, on paper and slip it in there like my therapist wrote out instructions for this little match game we do that is identity based like grounding in the moment it's very interesting and it works really really well um, we know how to play it now but I still keep the little paper uh, slipped in with everything else I don't have these to show but I wrote them down it can also be really good to keep band-aids and any medication you may need um, like a couple little safety Ativan or any like emergency in the moment meds you take a couple of CBD gummies but especially like band-aids if you are the kind of person who may run into some physical boo-boos um, from now and again. I have a couple more things that I want to mention. They don't fit 
directly in the bag um, but I keep them around and close and they're also really useful for grounding. Um, they're both like sweet little wooden objects as well. I like, I like wood. I don't know, it feels real. Um, this I got back when I was subscribed, oh, lots of cat fluff. Back when I was subscribed to the Pusheen box, I received in one of them these like wooden calendars, uh, but you can get these anywhere. There's always like so many at the Hallmark store and gift stores and stuff. Check your thrift store, check Depop. Oh my God, I bet there's cool themed ones. Okay, but these are great because it's tactile. You have to touch it and think with your brain, oh my God, what day is it? Which is always a great grounding question. This one doesn't have a six. <gasps> Whatever will I do? Oh, but it does have a zero. It will always work out in the end. It's nice. It takes a couple seconds. You have to touch objects and flip them around and use your brain and remember the date. And then you're like, oh, it's April 6th. Wonderful. Let's go make magic. The other thing is just cute. This is just cute. It's just a little tic-tac-toe set. It's cute. It's like, I think it's, I think it's for babies. It's Easter themed. It's cute. It's tic-tac-toe. Have you ever played competitive tic-tac-toe? Me neither, but I have played regular tic-tac-toe with little bunnies and carrots and it does spark joy. It's just nice. I like little wooden objects. They go click clack. They remind me I'm alive. And it's something interactive. Again, sometimes Stevie and I will just have a little tiny tic-tac-toe round. And that is everything in my panic kit grounding box. I don't know what I'm calling it. My happy little bag of things. And yeah, I think it's obvious that I'm not a mental health professional. I am a patient and I am just a person telling you the things that I uh, touch and look at to calm down. <laughs> this video's Peach Confetti Club member is Sprinkles of Colors. I lost my mind when I saw this. Uh, they have done a pair of shoes after my freaking last video and they look so amazing. I literally saw these in my Instagram, like tagged, and I went, where did they get those shoes? Every time I see really cool shoes online, it just hurts my soul because they're fast fashion made and I just know it's more trendy, cute shoes I'm gonna see my friends wearing that I'm not gonna be able to wear. And then guess what? You made them your own from your tutorial and look at the original, they look so good, you did so good, yes. More of this, more of this, more of this, more of this. Thank you. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one, cause this one's over. Bye.